I am very humbled and honored to be receiving this award and recognition from a department that I admire in a program that I'm very grateful to have gotten my start in. I knew I wanted to study wildlife at Purdue from the moment I knew there was a major called wildlife at Purdue. My dad and grandpa and all my friends were obsessed with ducks, and so was I. And what high schooler obsessed with ducks wouldn't want to manage duck habitat for a living? So I headed down the Tippecanoe River to Purdue in 2005. But I remember in my first weeks on campus feeling overwhelmed with the transition to college life and unsure if I was on the right path. One day that fall, walking in front of Fendler Hall, I saw Linda from the Student Services Office in FNR. I recognized her, but I thought there was no way she'd recognize me, just one more freshman in a sea of new faces. She did, though. She came over to me, called me by my name, and asked me how things were going and how I was enjoying my first few days of classes. I knew right then that I was in the right place with people that cared about the students in their classrooms as much as we all cared about the natural world around us. I never questioned my decision to study wildlife at Purdue again, and that remains true to this day. I have tremendous respect and admiration for all the instructors and staff that I met while I was there. I'm grateful to have learned from Mickey and Sally Weeks how to notice more of the world around me. Rob Swihart personally invited me to join his research crew on meadow voles, of course, and although they were a far cry from ducks, I learned in that sophomore year critical lessons on how to do quality wildlife research. Pat Zollner infected me with his passion for the messy world of wildlife population estimation and ecological statistics. Linda Procopy made me think a lot more about than just ducks, and I've never forgotten how important that is. A PhD student named Zach Lowe took me under his wing and became one of my most important mentors. Barney Dunning fed my obsession with birds, albeit then still only a narrow subset of birds that I could hunt in the fall. He advised the student chapter of the Wildlife Society, which set me on a course of professional service and professional development that I'm still on today. The wildlife biologists I've met through the Wildlife Society and especially those I met as a co-organizer of our LGBTQ visibility initiative there called the Out in the Field Initiative have literally changed my life. And my roots in that organization were planted in meetings with Dr. Dunning in Forestry Hall. I'm deeply grateful for my start at Purdue that gave me the skills, knowledge, and network to continue to grow. After leaving, I was fortunate to continue to have influential role models and mentors first with Dr. Bob Gates at Ohio State University, and then Dr. Josh Stafford and Dr. Mike Anto at South Dakota State University. Today, I'm learning on the other side of the table and classroom. Almost 20 years after that first week at Purdue, I'm working hard to remember what it's like to be new to college or new to this intimidating, but so rewarding and enticing profession. I'm trying to recreate for my students the feeling of belonging and curiosity that I experienced at Purdue. I want to thank the department for this wonderful honor, and I want to thank the nominators for the honor of their time and respect in nominating me. Each of the wildlife professionals that had a hand in my nomination have admirable and laudable careers that I admire from my post. And we all share the same beginnings from the halls of Finler and Forestry in the woods of the Upper Peninsula where we got our start. They are each as deserving, along with hundreds more boilers out there that I know or haven't had occasion to meet humbly applying what we learn to try to make the world a better place for wildlife, forests, water, and more in the communities of people that depend on them all over the world. Thank you again for this honor and go Boilers.